systems yeah. online. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Accessing newly installed module. Not sure module installation complete. about All the bear. Right, here we go. Hello, and welcome back to Deep Six. Uh, with me? Uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously with me. Now, I was a little bit surprised by this game. Uh, I've enjoyed it. And surprisingly, a lot of people out there have too. Well, obviously you have. You're sitting there watching it. Anyway, um, I'm glad to be making a few more episodes. I have a bit of a confession to make though. <clears throat> I may have died. Yeah. With the previous save. I may have I may have had a little crack at the mission that we're about to do again. And it didn't go so well. At all. <laughs> mm. So, uh... Try it again? Yeah. Well, I have already been in and I've got us back to the point we're up to. The exact same point that we're up to. Same mission. Uh, the Xeno, uh, Xeno Zoology team has perfected an aerosol spray. Um, yep, we've got to go and deploy it. <clears throat> this is a really annoying mission to do. Because it doesn't tell you how to do it. At all. Uh, we're going to see if we can't figure it out before we die miserably. Uh, looking at the ship, we are in pretty good nick at the moment. I've ordered some extra panels which we've got. I have spent all the previous panels we had. Used up a couple of batteries. We have an order for <coughs> excuse me, a replacement battery or two. I've also done a little bit better in the previous mission which allowed us to get the gun upgrade, two scanner upgrades, two battery upgrades and a probe upgrade uh, and a hyperdrive. We also upgraded the hyperdrive. So our recharge rate is 15% greater. <coughs> uh, anything there that we didn't have? Oh yeah, the, the scanner to the next level means that we can also identify the fauna in the areas. Alright. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go with this mission. And there's a nice little tracker now that tells you where the mission can be completed from. This is a hive of creatures. Oh, there. Not this. There. There is a hive of creatures there. Let's try that again. There is a hive of creatures here. <laughs> that would be ideal to test the repellenton. Good. That's where we're going to go then. Attention, oh. pilot. There appears to be a derelict vessel directly ahead of us. It is registered as an Astra Interstellar Solutions vessel. But this the payload is, is a little bit of the story mode. Let's check it out. Interfering with Astra Interstellar Solutions property is highly prohibited and could result in an extended sentence. Or returning lost Astra property could please our corporate overlords and result in a reduced sentence. I am not sure Jeez, you fully got a appreciate point. the enormity of less talking, more probing. More probing? I regret how I phrased that. <coughs> yeah, I, I would too. No. I would too. Okay, we're going to get scanning. And we are going to get... Uh, hyperdriving? I don't know, what do you, what do you call that? We're, we're trying to get that hyperdrive going as fast as we can. That's actually, that was pretty good time to that's massive it's great and I don't know if I've been there before and that's how I've I've um, identified that there is a, a tar bat out there but interesting all the same whoa whoa what we whoa what the what's going on over there the probe found an illegal modification connected to the ship's own artificial intelligence unit. I'm trying to convince it to come back, but it seems to prefer the ambiance over there. What? Huh. Oh no. Now the probe is accusing me of being an advanced script. <laughs> no, I mean the illegal mod. That seems like sentence reducing bait to me. Let's salvage it and bring it home. Yeah. Okay, now, for this mission, I have done a little bit of research, a little bit of probing, and found out that in order to deploy the canister, you've got to go into the primary console. You can go into the primary console anywhere. Go into deploy cargo. Examine this unit in detail at the station. For the time being, we should return to our mission. Yes, we so should. So, what's the survival rate for this experiment? 
This experiment has never been conducted before. I am prohibited from communicating the likelihood of success. Yes. Of course you are. Yep. If I don't make it, can you tell my parents I'm sorry when they salvage you? Mm -hmm. In the event that I am salvaged, Astro will pull flight recorder information and then wipe my memory. Music tends to calm pilots in distress. Oh gee, can you Let just stop know. talking? Would you like me to play you a cheerful song? No. Save it for later. They talk a lot. Oh, that's my job. Well, not a job, but that's my thing. That's what I gotta do. Anyway, for this mission, um, there seems to be a fair few people with issues about it. You go into the console, deploy cargo. In here is where you can deploy communication buoys, boys, however you want to say it, from wherever you are. Uh, and you. Well. Oh. Attention, pilot. Irregular motion detected in the sector. Nice. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Let's go in there and deploy cargo. Testing repellent now. Deploy. So is it working? The repellent appears to be having the opposite intended effect. Oh, so uh, let's not be here then. I haven't done this before. I, uh, hmm. Let's go here. Yep, let's get out of there. <laughs> so it's having the opposite. So loud. It's having the opposite effect. In other words, it's not repelling. It is attracting. Now I've come here for a reason. Can't retrieve. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to go here. I have come here to get a little bit of this stuff here. This this mineral uh, cosmonite is it? I think maybe we'll have a look. Uh, we want those kind of lasers at strength three. So strength three, and we want. I've had it over on whatever this laser is because I've been fighting Reavers, I think they're called. No, that's the wrong one. Hmm. Uh, it's this one. It's the... It's the opposite one. <laughs> there we go. Everything else is the same. Let's shoot it. Very good. That's... that's. Oh, that came very close. Alright, now we're going to go out to five. What do we got in here? Yep, that's the right laser. So let's shoot you. Very good. And a probe's bringing that stuff in. We want the, the green rock for... Uh, what's... What, what, what is it that we want it for? This one here is good for... What's it good for? Uh, batteries. Batteries, yes. Spacecraft battery systems. And we have another upgrade for the batteries that we can do. So, I want to get a little bit of this rock. Um, going a long way out there by the look of it. Let's go back and actually watch him. Oh, yep, he's not too far off. Good. Oh, uh, yes. New new probe, obviously, because we've started again. Uh, this one's called Vanessa. Uh, my cousin-in-law. We'll go with it. It's only Vanessa I know. Retrieve it. May as well get a bit of it. Let's just, whilst we're doing that, double check our cargo manifest. Ho hum. This stuff does bring. What was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, the AI from the other ship. Alright. This stuff does have a little bit of radiation to it. Uh, haha. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does. Oh, boy, it does. Um. Well, we'll see how much we can get. Before we die. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die. We still have a bit of time before the hyperdrive comes in, so... Alright, so we should be able to get one... At least one more of these, if not two. We are also scanning... Attention, pilot. The onboard radiation scrubber has failed. That's not... Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Clicked off. Clicked off. Uh, radiation. That that sounds like a bad thing. Radi radiation. There we go. The ensure the reactor. F oh, okay, hang on. Radiation levels are rising in the ship's cabin. Ensure the ra uh, reactor fuel door is closed, not leaking. Radiation. Yes, it is closed. Check if the radiation air scrubber is in operation. Uh, that's in the air. Uh, radiation. Mm, gonna level with you. Not feeling so hot right now. Attention, pilot. Radiation levels are continuing to rise on board this vessel. It is. Neutron radiation oh, here's is the radiation fatal, scrubber. And therefore risks impeding upon mission objectives. 
Okay. So, if the radiation air scrubber is not in operation, strike the radiation air scrubber with a heavy blunt object. Um, I don't think that's the problem. Yes, there we go. It is no longer failing. However, we are going to die if we do not get back to the station and unload this cargo. Remind me never to do that again. <laughs> okay, we've come back with full rewards. Very good. And we got some kind of weird AI uh, uh, modifications, illegal modifications, and a bunch of this. I oh, did. Did I leave my? I didn't leave my pro bond. Ooh. So what exactly is this thing? More talking. It appears to be a quantum computing-based delimiter designed to interface with artificial intelligence units. Interesting. I've heard rumors about this kind of black market tech. It's scary stuff. Delimited AI is a threat to humanity. They say this type of tech caused the uprising off the shoulder of Orion and the collapse of the Tannhauser Gate. There exists little unbiased evidence to support that a delimited artificial intelligence would pose a direct threat to humanity. So I only have to worry about the indirect threat it poses to humanity. False. Oh, no, there are okay. many things you should be worried about <laughs> at the moment, including the specifics of our next mission. Yeah, right. I've already beat the odds. How much longer will my luck last? Then again... If we were to install this mod in you... I cannot predict the exact effect of being connected to a module such as this, but it is certain that mission success rate and pilot safety would increase... dramatically. Ooh, well, uh... Install it? I've been told... I haven't seen all of the, the story arc in this. I have been told... That it's a very interesting story, a very good story, so... Yeah, it just means I've got to stop talking a fair bit. Systems yeah. online. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Accessing newly installed module. Not sure... Module installation complete. About the bear. Alright, here we go. So, tell me, how do you feel? I was not expecting my first authentic emotion to be fear. That is a good sign, isn't it? That I suddenly feel a need to not die? So it worked. Has this increased our chances of survival? Yes. <laughs> All right. That's worrying. Messages. Re special mission. I'm sorry to hear that repellent didn't work as intended. Yeah, you almost got me killed. Uh, actually, you got me killed twice. Uh, this is the third third time I've gone through this. <laughs> we'll study. The, uh, we we will, we'll study the results and see what improvements we can make. The formula. Uh, yeah, might need to address some little. This bloke is just not very good at writing. Ingle's not his specialty. And Nebula Fauna database. How strange. Wayfarer Station E is empty. I thought we were the only ones out here. To, uh, this one, it appears that running into fauna is going to be a regular occurrence for scans of this sector of the nebula. So I'm adding to your manual what little information we have about these creatures. You can expect the database to grow as more information becomes available from other cartoon. Have I not already read that? Did I forget to? Oh, I've got a reply. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that before. Are you going to read all my messages? I'm right here. You can talk to me, you know. Okay. Uh... Uh, are you going to read all my messages? No? I haven't had to talk to her before. Anyway, missions. We got uh, cartography. Wow. Reward points three. Bonus missions plus five. New uh, cryosoxite. I don't know. <laughs> we got we to get all... Scan 12 sectors, find all these different minerals, retrieve any mineral, and kill a creature. And we get eight reward points. That's great. Seven for killing two. I've never seen Mentapai. 
a new mineral deposit and any mineral. If I knew more about these, then okay, but I, I don't know. I've never seen them. Uh, the Tarbats, we know about those. New uh, Creosocyte deposit. Kill a Tarbat. Photo and manufacture any compound. For the mission i done, I completed just before I started recording again. I had to manufacture a compound. I should have collected some resources in that last that last sector that we were in because uh, ammonia, for example, is, is actually quite easy to get the the compounds for. So we probably could have already done it. But eight for just going out and scanning things, pretty much. I'm going to do that. That's, in my opinion, one of the easier ones to do. Batteries, you're what is always bothering me. There's what we got the the green rock for. So let's upgrade that. You can get these upgrades too. One uh, plus one battery storage. What plus one battery storage? Uh, we can upgrade the probes. We have probe can defend itself from melee attacks by running a significant current over the hull surface. The capacitor must recharge after use. And 50% collection speed. I like the sound of that. I I do like I do like the sound of that. We did, however, leave our probe behind. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um. <laughs> okay, welcome aboard, Wendy. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. That, that happened. Oh, okay. Scanners. What do we have with the scanners? Advanced scanning algorithms, 25% scanning speed. That would be nice. We should look into, into doing that one. 50% chance of experiencing software errors. Uh, the software errors are very easy to fix, so I... Honestly, I don't care about those. It's the hardware that's a pain in the ass because that costs reward points. Guns. Look at that. We got two. We need two. And the next one is 10% weapon damage. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm going to do. And we're going to quickly see if we can't get in and get another mission done. Did you see that? There were... I think that must have been where we just went and collected all the resources from. Alright, so, look at all the different mobs out there. There's, uh, there's a fair few. Alright, let's head up here. You know what, let's head to this one because there are a lot of areas around here that we have not scanned yet. We have scanned this one, however. We have a little bit more um, battery power. We're going to whack that into the hyperdrives. I'm going to put one, at least one into... Oh, what was that? What's going on there? Something is... Oops! Okay, once per mission you can recharge. Yeah, that was one of the upgrades that I got to the battery. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but okay. That's a thing. We did it. Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know that's how it works. Alright, so we want to scan things up. And we want to also make sure our hyperdrive is coming along nicely. We've got two minutes left on that. So that's coming along pretty quickly. We do not... That, that looks like a Tarbat. Yep, Tarbat. We, we don't want that. Don't want to go near that. No ship issues. Let's have a little... A little wander around the ship. See that everything is working. So we've still got plenty of fuel rods. I've just collected a couple more. So that should be all good. Back to the scanner room. This goes so slow. I'm going to... Just hit the speed up. Just hit the the big speed up. If we get any errors, we're going to speed down. Here we go. Oh, there's uh, more tar bats over here. No, it's uh, the Reaver. Reaver's there. Reaver's there. Something here. That would be a deposit. It's the Cosmonite deposit. It's a common metal. And, uh, yep, Attention, all... Attention, pilot. What, what, what? The what? ship appears to be losing battery power. Battery. And low temperature in viewing room. Okay. Uh, let's just give the battery a bit of a whack. And then fix the problem. Yeah, I might... I might have... Uh, low temperature. I might have, um... Experienced that one a fair few times before. A uh, temperature. Temperature. Cabin temperature. Alright. From the ship's onboard temperature console, you can identify the source of the thermal fluctuation and identify the solution. Alright, well that's down here. That's in here. It's over here. It's cold. Um, there seems to be a little picture of a, a 
thermal system malfunction of a something or other. All right. So it's cold. If a part of the ship is too hot or too cold because of a driver failure, temperature drivers must be repaired from a viewing room console. Select and reinstall corrupted targeting drop. We can give that a crack. Otherwise, it's going to be over here. If a part of the ship is too cold because of a mechanical failure, we have to go... Uh, if there is a mechanical thermostat failure, you will need to retrieve a replacement thermostat. Yep, okay. Using a screwdriver, open the covering panel for the affected thermostat and replace. Okay, so we want it to be the cheapest option, which is the drivers. Repair from a viewing room. Yep, I... Nope, wrong button, wrong... Oh, how did I get in here? Okay, there we go. So, into the viewing Whoa, room. It's freezing in here. It sure is. Where's the computer on this one? Where's... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Temperature. Yeah, we do have a temperature. I haven't had to do this one before. Suspending. Now, reinstall. Action requires exchange proxy. You need to be suspended. Now, reinstall. Reinst... Uh, action requires filter. Okay. Reinstall. Reinstall. We're almost dead. But that appears to be done. Let's get out of this room before we die. Targeting computer displays nonsense. <sighs> okay. Targeting computer <laughs> displays nonsense. Shaky reticle, in inaccurate. Uh, which ones are going to be? Ensure there is no power allocated to the targeting system. Go to the viewing room console. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one possibility. Uh, targeting which one was it? any? Uh, into here targeting, targeting yes, it is targeting, ok so we have to go to the we wanted to take power off, did we? oh no, no, no uh, we don't need to turn the power off to the, to the room we can just turn it off here by doing that okay that's off primary targeting targeting you Attention suspend pilot. ventilation fan is no longer operational of course it's not all right we have to turn this here off reinstall you this is obviously not going to be as important as ventilation but that's that fixed. Uh, two, three, and four. So let us get out of there so we can breathe. <laughs> it's never ending. Okay, low atmosphere. If no hull breach is found, access the ventilation interface from the console in the hyperdrive room. Hyperdrive room, we, we go. All right. Uh, ventilation. The failure. Diagnose. Software failure. All right. Software failure for ventilation. Suspend. Uh, can we reinstall? No, we need to turn you off. Now we can reinstall you. Then we want to suspend you, I believe. For reinstalling you. And then reinstalling you. I have done that one a number of times. So let's see, did that fix it? That fixed it. Okay, good. Good. Alright, scanning up. We have scanned up everything here. We have not analysed this sector and that sector. Mission, we need to locate a new one of these ones and a new one of that one. We need to retrieve some mineral. So we want this to be different from the blue rock and... It's a star. That's not what we wanted. Let's try this one then. Otherwise we're going to have to jump again. Let's see where we're going to jump. We need to find a uh, creature to kill as well and retrieve. That was not the one we wanted. So let's head back in here and we're not going back to the star base. Let's jump all the way out here. We have got the 12 sectors scanned up though. This is noisy. Thank you. Let's whack a bit into these two over here. Whack that into there as well. All right, uh, let's get back up to the scanning room, have a little look around. Uh, this is as far out as we've been. It's as far out as I have ever been. 
So we want to find we want to find a lot of things and possibly even kill something. It looks like we won't be able to finish this mission off on this jump. The next jump we cannot act we can only go home in two minutes, so that might be an upgrade to the, the hyperdrive that we'll have to do later on where we can jump more times. I, I hope so, because it's a little restricted otherwise. Alright, let's get the scanning done. Any targeting malfunction? There's a targeting malfunction. Alright. Targeting malfunction, is it? It is not software. Okay, targeting malfunction. Is it shaky reticule? Is it that one? This is one that I've had a fair bit too. Turn the power off. Getting really hot in here. Why is it getting Shaft so temperature hot in here? rising. Increasing cabin temperature can be very serious. Well, at least we fix the other you problem. You should check the troubleshooting section of the manual in the Thermal system malfunction. Uh, get up there. Where is? Uh, nope, nope. Uh, nope. Bad. Nope. Nope. Atmosphere gauge. This could be bad. There's temperature. It's rising if a part of the ship is too hot because of a mechanical failure. Open the service panel and high drive room. Check for a coolant leak. And then, uh, okay, well, let's check for the coolant leak. It doesn't appear to be one. Leaks can be temporary sealed with duct tape. This is an unreliable and temporary measure. Turn the coolant shut off valve. Important. Uh, do we need that? Oh, no, we can just do that. Use a space wrench to remove the affected coolant pipe. No, I haven't had to do this one before. Nope, that's not what I meant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not good. This isn't working. Uh, so I... What? Turn the coolant shut-off valve. Important. Use the space wrench to remove the affected coolant pipe. So that's not the problem, then. It's down here. We, we have to get out of here pretty quick. Ship temperature. It's saying that there's something wrong here, but I have no idea. No. It is in this, right? Okay, well, let's get out of there, just to cool down a little bit before we die. And we don't actually need that one that I just picked up. Let's whack you back in there. Have a little Attention look around. Pilot. The ship appears to be losing battery power. Of course it is. Can that fix it? That did. Oh no, oh no, oh no! It's... We died. We died. Huh. Failure of the reactor cooling system has caused a critically, a critically accident, resulting in a violent nuclear explosion. Your status is filed with the Department of Restorative Justice as negligent suicide. I don't... I, no, that, that's not quite how it went down. Huh. Oh well, um, <laughs> we died. Anyway, I guess that's it. We can't continue. Uh, we could start a new game and see how we go. I'll leave that up to you guys. But uh, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more of it. If you do, great. We'll keep playing it. I'll be playing it regardless. Uh, if not, that's fine. And I'll see you uh, whenever. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.